I'm going to show you Mrs. James's examples for um, drawing staircase and cobweb diagrams using your calculator in recursion mode. So let's just look at the menu. Um, remember that we can do iterations using recursive um, menu here, which is menu 8. So we start by typing in the formula. On Mrs. James's example, we have got xn plus 1 and we've got xn. So we're just going to replace the x with an a. So we need to do um, 1 minus the square root of, and you can see here, just below, um, just above f2, we can use a n. There we go. And we've got outside brackets. And we need to raise that to the power of third. So there's our formula. We now need to put in our starting value, so we use set. So this start and end is just for the counter for n. So we're going to start with x1, then x2, then x3, and so on, up to x20. So if we scroll down to a1, that's our starting value. So we want 0 0.5 here. Now further down, we've got a n stool, and we want to use this um, string value as our starting value when we're drawing our graph. So I'm putting in 0 0.5 and pressing execute. And now exit will take us back to our form. OK. If we press table, now we can see the n value and we can see what our iterate is. And so if you need to give your answer to a number of decimal places, you just scroll down until the values start to agree to that amount of decimal places. OK. From here, so from this table, we could go back to the form, which is just how, the, um, how we typed in our formula. We can go back to the table here. And then here at the bottom, we've got web. Now, web means either a cobweb or a staircase diagram. So you press this one here. OK. And I just have some standard view window options at the moment. So we can see that we've got the original graph, the curve, and we've got y equals x. Now, every time we press execute, it's going to, it's like you drawing a line with your ruler, going to the curve or the straight line. So we start with starting position. The first x value is 0 0.5. Then we draw a line to reach the curve. Then we draw a line to reach the straight line then the curve, then the straight line, then the curve, then the straight line. But obviously it's so tiny we can't see what's going on. So it's really sensible to use the zoom function. So I'm going to do zoom in. And if you take your cursor to roughly where the two graphs cross, and zoom in on that. Okay. There we go. You can see, we'll be able to see what's going on. So it's wiped off all of those straight lines. So let's start again. We press execute. We're starting with x is 0.5. There we go. We've um, drawn a line to the curve. Press execute. We draw a line to the straight line. Press execute. It goes to the curve. Execute to the straight line and so on. So it's very clear that this is a cobweb diagram that's converging to the point where the, two, uh, where the graph and the straight line cross. Okay. Let's exit, OK, and delete this one. And we're going to do the second example. So again, we type in the formula. So we want the third root of 2 to the power of a n. So I'm choosing a n is f2. Execute. We need to set the starting value this time to be 1.5. And we do the same with the string that we're going to start. That's the value that we end up starting at for the graph. So I'm going to exit that. I'm going to press table. And there's my list of iterates if I want to look at them. Uh, but I want the graph, so I'm going to press web. OK, it's not looking super because we're using the same V window as before. So I'm going to press V window and choose the initial um, options. Oops, web. There we go. That looks more sensible. We've got a nice um, exponential graph there and y equals x. If I press execute, we're going to start with x is 1.5 and we're going to the curve, to the straight line, to the curve, 
the straight line and so on. Again, we can't really see what's going on, so let's zoom in. So we choose zoom. I'm going to do a little box this time instead of just zoom in. So what I'm going to do is move my cursor to be just to the left and down of where the graphs meet. Press execute. And then again, I'm going to be just to the right and above of where the graphs meet and press execute and it redraws the curve and the straight line. Now, every time I press execute, it's like the ruler, uh, using your ruler and pencil. Okay, so we start with X is 1.5, we draw to the curve, then we draw to the line, then the curve, then the line, then the curve, then the line, and so on. Still pretty tiny, but you can see that there's a staircase.